welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have got an Alphalete review. I have not done one of these in a while. I've actually not done like loads of reviews in a while so I'm really excited to get back to doing them. I have lots of clothes. I ordered lots so that I could review all these pieces for you guys. I have got some dresses, bodysuits. I've also got the new Amplify and new Revivals so I'll like compare them as well because those are my like two favourite leggings from Alphalete. Also if you want to support my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss any videos from me it means a lot I'm gonna start off with the clothing I'm gonna save the leggings until last so I'm gonna start off with a dress so Alpha Lee is a sports brand it's an activewear brand they don't normally do things like dresses and bodysuits so I was like oh I want to try I wonder what they're like I mean they always make really flattering leggings so I thought maybe they'll make like a really flattering like kind of comfy dress Um, this is the dress here so it's kind of like your straight long it looks very long and then we've got like a drawstring down the side um it comes out with two pieces here and you can kind of like make it shorter by pulling on it um and then it kind of ruffles up and creates a little, little bit of detail like that on the side so even though it looks really long i think i can make it shorter i'm a short person so yeah i really hope it doesn't look too long on me but from what i can see the way you can like adjust the drawstring and make it like different lengths hopefully it should be okay the quality feels really good so the actual material is 64 percent rayon and 20 28% acrylic, 8% elastane. I have never heard of rayon as a material, but um, it does feel really like nice and like soft. You can feel that it is good quality as well, which is what I love about Alphalete. You can all, like the clothes are always such good quality. But anyway, for the moment of truth, I'm gonna go and pop this on. All right, so this is the dress. Um, this is it without any adjustments. Um, it is quite long without any adjustments. If I show you the back, it's quite flattering around the booty. Um, but this is kind of like where it comes up on me. I really like the detailing um, here, like the kind of cut of the top. It's a really like comfortable dress as well. But yeah, just so flattering. I feel like it really hinches in the waist. I feel like it kind of makes, gives the illusion of like quite a small waist and then accentuates the booty. I really like it. I'm gonna adjust it now so it's shorter because I don't normally have my dresses this long just because I am five foot three. So yeah, this is the kind of length that I would like normally wear my dresses. I really, really like this dress. Um, it's definitely one I want to keep. Um, I would just wear this on like so many occasions. Also, what something I really like about it is, despite it being like a tight bodycon dress, it isn't super tight. I often find with dresses, they'll be really, really like bodycon tight dresses. They'll be like really tight around the stomach. I feel like they'll just like really like hug the belly. I find that this just sits really nicely. It's like not too tight, but it's just very like flattering and does show your curves at the same time and even accentuates them. And overall, I just feel like it just does feel really good quality. So it's a definite yes from me. This is unsponsored and I do give all like 100% my honest opinion on everything. Also, in regards to sizing, I did size down. I got a double XS instead of an XS just because like I'm quite petite and I feel like Dresses like this are normally just like way too big for me. So I am glad I sized down. Okay, so next up I'm gonna be trying a bodysuit from Alphalete. Again, Alphalete's an active wear brand. They don't normally do like these kind of clothes, but I actually think they've done a really good job. Um, I'm not normally a fan of bodysuits, but I thought I would try it. Um, I don't really like clipping. I don't know, I feel like I'm in a baby grow or something. I'm just not a massive fan. You clip it at the bottom on this one here, so you can just do that. There is also padding in the bodysuit here, and um, it's not removable either, so it's stuck in, which I'm kind of glad because, like, I feel like I I don't like I personally don't like removable padding, but that's just me. I think some I think most people do like it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so in terms of sizing, I got an extra small in the bodysuit, so I got a slightly bigger size than the dress. I just got an extra small because it's my normal legging size. So I'm gonna try on the extra small in this emerald green color. Um, also we have like a lovely, we have lovely detailing here. It's like we've got this little kind of like open area at the front, which would look really nice with jeans. Okay, so in terms of the bodysuit, start off with sizing. 
I would say the extra small fits me perfectly. It is my normal size in leggings. I wouldn't size down just because I feel like it's a bodysuit. You clip it at the bottom and I just feel like it might just be a bit tight. It's such a comfortable bodysuit. The material is like the same as the dress. But yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I think it pairs really nicely with a pair of jeans, denim jeans or shorts. I paired it with shorts just to kind of like show you um, how you can style it. I really like the straps fit me really well as well because as a short petite person, one of my biggest issues with like anything that isn't sleeves is straps like just being too big and falling down I don't have this, that issue with this so I'm gonna move on to like the shorts and leggings which is more like the sportswear stuff and you know what I'm, I bought a pair of biker shorts from the amplify collection as well as some amplify leggings and revival leggings so I'm gonna start with the shorts and then I'm gonna move on to the leggings so definitely stick around because I'm gonna be comparing the revivals and the amplify the two top leggings from alpha Lee. I got these biker shorts here in an extra small just because that's my legging size in terms of the color basically looks identical to the bodysuit to me but it actually does have a different um, name so the bodysuit is emerald and the amplify shorts are darkest pine I'm gonna try these amplify shorts on for you um, I do own the amplify kind of like short shorts like the normal shorts not the biker shorts so I'm gonna compare the length as well so you can see okay so I've got my biker fi amplify shorts on the right and on the left we've got my amplify shorts that I bought from the last launch as you can see the biker shorts are quite a bit longer the waistband also looks like it's a little bit more swooped in so we'll cinch you in at the waist a little bit more the inseam of the shorts is about three inches the inseam of the biker shorts is about seven inches this is them literally on top of each other the thing I like about the biker shorts is as I said you can just roll them up so you have the option okay so here are the biker shorts I have actually rolled them up if I roll them down they're actually quite long yeah so if I roll them down they go down to about here I prefer personally to have them shorter I just don't think that long biker shorts suit my body type that well. I prefer them to be a little bit shorter. I would probably like just roll them up. The thing I like about the biker shorts compared to the like just general shorts, like the short shorts, is that you have the option to roll them up or have them long. And you can roll them up as much as you want so you can make them slightly longer than the booty shorts because the booty shorts are quite short. FYI, this colour in Darkest Pine is like not squat proof like at all despite it being like a darker colour like so yeah I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 10 on the squat proof scale but yeah as a short the biker shorts are super flattering around the booty just like everything I've tried on from the Amplify collection we have the booty scrunch which, um, which some people have experienced ripping I have had my Amplify leggings now for a few months and I have never had any issues. They are quite a stretchy material as well and I feel like when it comes to stretching materials you usually can just size up or down and like things will usually fit. They might feel a bit tight or there might be a bit of excess material but in general like, they'll fit. But anyway, the excess is my true to size and I wouldn't size up or down, it fits me perfectly. Okay, moving on to the leggings. The leggings are always my favorite thing to review. I got the same color in both the Amplify and the Revivals and I also got an extra small in both leggings as that is my normal size. So I'm gonna do a comparison. Both leggings have like super soft material However, the Revivals feel like they're just a little bit more brushed than the Amplify. There's just like a softer feel to the fabric. If I show you them side by side before I try them on, I can show you what the waistband um, looks like as well. Okay, so we have the Revivals on the left. So my first thing is to say, yeah, you can obviously see the Revivals are shorter. So they're probably going to fit a little bit tighter. There seems to be more material on the Amplify, which is on the right. The waistband of the Revivals looks like it's going to cinch you in more at the waist. And it's a little bit, because you can see that kind of like it's where it's sweeping in. There is a front seam on the Revivals and there isn't on the Amplify. I actually prefer having a front seam as I find 
that without a front seam, the whole front area just looks a little bit weird. Also, in terms of the colour, they're the exact same colour, but the Revivals do look a little bit lighter. If I put the Revivals on top of the Amplifier, you can see the Revivals waistband is smaller. The Revival waistband as well is just material, um, and you, it can move around quite easily. Um, the amp on the other hand the amplifier waistband is like ribbed or kind of like ribbing there no ribbing on that small amount of like fabric along here um, and then more ribbing there and then none here so there's a little bit more detail in the waistband on the amplify but anyway I'm gonna try them on and show you them side by side First thing I want to say is they come up so high like why do they come up like this high? I didn't really like that and that kind of puts me off. I definitely have to like roll them down if I was to wear them. They are really soft which is nice and they're comfy. They're very compressive around the legs. Definitely more compressive than the Amplify um, which you can kind of see and you'd expect when you see them side by side and see how much smaller the Revivals looked next to the Amplify. If you're in between sizes, I would say to probably maybe try sizing up. Otherwise, they're pretty true to size. I wouldn't size down as they'd definitely be too small. They're okay around the booty. I wouldn't say they're anything like special. I actually find my Revival R6 is more flattering around the booty than these. When it comes to squat proofness, they're just not quite fully squat proof. Um, so do bear that in mind, even with this kind of like dark grey colour. Considering the price, I don't know if they're like 45 or 50 pounds, you would think they would be squat proof. Squat proofing doesn't bother me like that much personally, but just if you're spending a lot on a legging, it's kind of like, um, why is it? not squat proof. Moving on, I'm gonna go and try the Amplify leggings. I also got an extra small in the Amplify as from as the last launch, I got an extra small um, in the Amplify and that fit me absolutely perfectly. Okay, so these are the Amplify leggings here. I prefer the waistband, definitely. They're not coming up as high as the new Revivals. They are really flattering around the booty because they've got that booty scrunch that just really makes the booty pop. They are a bit longer, so there is a bit of material kind of like scrunching up around my ankles. Um, which didn't happen with the revivals because there was just less material as you could see from the shots I took at the start But yeah, as you can see this is kind of like excess material. They do feel stretchier They're not as compressive around the legs, although they are still compressive um, there's just a bit more material so a bit more stretch to them I would also say that they're not a hundred percent squat proof either Which again considering they're like 50 or 50 the 54 pounds like like they should be squat proof. But still overall as a legging, I 100% prefer the amplifiers. Okay guys, so that is actually everything. I'm, I'm gonna wrap up. I really hope you enjoyed my Alpha Elite haul as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell because it helps me keep creating content for you guys. If there are any brands that you want me to review, do let me know in the comments. I will see you next week with another video.